now from Washington, Democratic strategist Emily Tish Sussman, and she will be debating Republican strategist Ford O'Connell. All right, Ford, what's your, what's your take on this? This is a problem? Well, I think it is a big problem, and I'm glad that we're having this conversation. That said, though, I do think that Snowden is an alleged lawbreaker who should be brought before an American court because essentially... I don't know that he exhausted all the remedies here, whether he could have gone to an inspector general, a superior, or whatever, before he went to the media. And that's a really big slippery slope we have to go down. But I do agree with Emily. The reason why we don't see a real partisan line here is because essentially the establishment wings of both parties are concerned with fighting terrorism, while the French wings are, you know, concerned about, you know, protecting civil liberties. And essentially I think that, it's, that it lies somewhere in between civil liberties in, in fighting terrorism and I really what I'm really concerned about here and a lot of Republicans are mostly concerned about what is the oversight mechanism to make sure that we don't erode more civil liberties going forward. There weren't a lot of questions asked about how we came upon this information. So as long as it's being used for the right reasons and I, I happen to agree with Ford. Did you ever think we'd have so much agreement? <laughs> but you know, as lo <laughs> you know as long as we do have the right oversight mechanisms there it seems like the American public is comfortable with this. You know, uh, Evan, I, I don't this. know that we have the right oversight mechanisms there. And right now, I think a majority of Americans, I hate to say this, I'm going to take heat for this tomorrow morning, but I think it's due to willful ignorance that they think that this is all about terror. I don't know what the scope is, and trust me, a lot of members of Congress don't either. Basically, the people that are briefed are, are the intelligence folks in both the House and the Senate. And, and I'm really concerned that most Americans don't know where this slippery slope could go. And frankly, this buildup of big government overreach didn't begin with Bush or Obama. It began in the 50s and at the end of the Cold War, and I'm concerned that as we keep going forward, more Americans are going to lose their civil liberties. You know, every time I go out and I buy a piece of IKEA furniture, suddenly I get catalogs right and left from Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel. Like, they know my exact buying habits, and we've become comfortable with that. And so that's partly why I think that we're not seeing a ton of outrage. Private companies have so much more Evan, information. President Obama should put the full weight behind here, drag Snowden before an American. Let's get to the bottom of this. It sets a bad precedent for someone to decide that they're speaking for America and take national security information and leak it out to the media. I'm not sure he went through the proper chain of command before he did this. And essentially, I don't want future people, right or wrong, getting a free pass here. We need to be very careful in how this occurs going forward. All right, uh, let's get a de uh, debate going that we may not get such kind of rapid agreement. The Senate has begun a debate on the immigration reform bill that could put over 11 million illegal immigrants on the path to American citizenship. You know, there's a big issue for it, but the Republicans got absolutely burned by the immigrant vote, the Hispanic vote in the last election. Uh, do they have to come on board? Well, let me say this. Yes, I do think that the Republicans need to pass immigration reform, but they should not be shamed into a bad bill. And this is a bad bill the way it's constructed. It really allows Democrats to run up the voter rolls. The biggest problem with this bill, essentially, is that it does not have clear, verifiable metrics for border security. Right now, our border is not secure this year alone. When the head of the Border Patrol went before the Senate, he said illegal immigration is up 13 percent on the southern border. And we cannot do this until we are sure that the border is locked down. But I do think that this is a problem. American people need to dress because essentially our, our immigration system is broken and we need to find a way to put the best interests of but America Ford, and hey, the immigrants forward. You say you got to lock down the border. I mean, you've been to that border. How much more can you lock down that southern border of the U.S.? Billions of dollars goes in there. I mean, this has been an ongoing political challenge for Texas, Arizona, California. You know that. Evan, I know more about this border than you could imagine being a native of the state of Texas. And I'm going to tell you something. It is very slim in some areas. And the way the drug cartels work, it would blow your mind. You and I could go down there together and actually put a package together. And I could show you how many things would be there. Here's my concern right now with the bill as it's written. It basically says, let's increase border spending. And let's take the homeland security, you know, that word that the border secure. Pardon me if I don't trust this administration or any future administration on where the border is at. There's more that we can do. And all I'm advocating for is a little bit what John Cornyn is advocating for. And that's clear, verifiable metrics that neither party can use and are not up for basically partisan wrangling. All right. Let's get uh, Emily on this one. Hillary Clinton joined Twitter on Monday. Ford, I'm going to just let you TBD to be determined what you have to say about that. Because I got to 99% chance she's running. And frankly, glass ceiling cracker was the big uh, telltale sign there, not TBD. Right. All right. Uh, Emily Sussman, Ford O'Connell. No glass ceilings for either of you on this program. Thanks to both of you. Still ahead Thank on you. Power and Politics.